Hello, this is Mr. Tucker speaking, and this is a brief video uh, to introduce you to the week four work for USF Grade 8 Science. Um, this is my son Nathaniel with me. Say hello, Nathaniel. Hello. Hey. Um, I'll try to keep this short, but I hope you are well, first and foremost, of course. Uh, this week we're taking a slightly different approach to the work for science, uh, but we think it's a, manageable, and B, hopefully entertaining. Um, if you go to your classroom, as always, at the top of the stream or in the classwork, uh, we have the work for week four. A brief introduction about that work. Um, and uh, there are really three parts to this work, um, but you should see three documents in here, uh, week four classwork a website link and a guide for the virtual calorimetry lab. So I'll click on the classwork and um, there are three components to this week's classwork. The first one is to complete the virtual calorimetry lab. Um, you can access the lab by either clicking on this link here in the Google Doc or the link in the classroom. When you go to the lab you'll see a list of virtual biology labs. You want to go to the first one, which is calorimetry. And what is calorimetry? It's the uh, science of oops, that's not so good. Do you know how oh, many good. calories are in the and I was impatient. You probably um, heard the science of energy and food, and that they need um, to burn calories we're tying this to the on all packages. This lab, this virtual lab, the to the information you've been learning about energy and food. So, this lab should uh, you walk through this lab and there's a narrator, but I have it on mute because I don't want to hear it while I'm speaking to you. But you walk through, this will be what you see first. Um, once you've been introduced to the problem, you are going to be doing some exploring to figure out what you're working with. I want to look at this picture. It's you must an interesting click on picture. Each item lots of food on there. Once you are ready to move on, lab bench in the back, and this interesting tool here, the calorimeter. Calorimeter, excuse me. That's the tool that's used to release the energy and measure the energy um, in the portion of food. So you're going to be going back and forth between explore and procedure, and periodically being told to pull out your lab notebook here and record some information. You've got data, and then some calculations, and a brief analysis and conclusion. Um, at the very end of this, we'll be given an option to print and save a PDF of it, and you'll in include that PDF in your classwork. Uh, this does not save, so you need to go through this in one sitting. Just to share for comparison, it took me about 20 minutes to do it. Uh, it took Mr. Balicki about 16 minutes to do it. Um, and understanding that we're both your science teachers, it should probably take you a little bit longer, but maybe you're faster than me. Um, but if you were to, to consider that you could probably accomplish this in half an hour, I think that's reasonable. We, we think that's reasonable, and that's about one uh, remote class for the week. Um, so um, try that. I think it's interesting. Listen to the narrator speak. You'll be get told to press Explore play on the, the audio the periodically, going on through, I think, about 15 steps. You must click uh, on if you listen to everything the narrator down. says and don't Once you are ready take to your time on, to, to listen to everything they're saying, uh, that's what I did when it took me 20 minutes to complete the lab. So um, I think that should be plenty of time. This is what you eat at work. Banana. And uh, those are just cartoons, I think, of, of sample pieces of food. It's just I could do it as sometimes I do eat that at work though. Banana, broccoli, carrots. Um but uh sorry hi everyone. Um I'm gonna keep this short so if I can. After completing that you see there are two other parts. There's part two is to write a brief reflection about uh the lab, your what you learned from the lab, the virtual lab and uh and how it relates to the energy yeah, in an ecosystem that we've been learning about in the, in the CK12 readings in the past couple of weeks. And finally, to complete uh, and investigate energy pyramids questions, which is um, kind of like a standard classroom uh, classwork if we were to be at school. 
uh, and that's below. So we have right here, number one, Roman number one, if you're able to insert the PDF here or some other way to link it to your document before you turn it in. Two, uh, your brief reflection in this box about the lab, linking it to the class. And uh, three, or what you learned from it, excuse me, and three, uh, the questions um, that relate to these three diagrams or three models. Any questions, please email me. If you're having trouble with the technology around this virtual lab, there's also the guide in the classroom here, the guide for virtual calorimetry. It is um, helpful for how to enable this program flash player. Also, um, how to insert. This is what you look, it looks like at the end of your process. Oh, this video is getting long, sorry. Um, click and print. If, if you're having trouble with this, I have office hours as always on Tuesday and Thursday at 2 p.m. Um, so tomorrow, if you're having some difficulty with this, please join the office hours. You can just watch me go through it if you want, and you can use, you can record your own information from that, watching, uh, watching me do it. But uh, Thursday, same thing. Also, email, as always. Uh, I'll try to get back to you as quick as I can. <laughs> smiley face. <laughs> or with hands. There's the smiley face with two thumbs up. Um, Why two I hope thumbs well. up? Let's say goodbye to everyone, I think, okay? Bye-bye. Bye-bye, everyone. Take care. Hope you're well and your family. Bye. Bye.